Contract talks underway at the big three automakers. This is the ceremonial handshake this morning at General Motors. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is downtown Detroit with more on the bargaining. One word looming large over General Motors and the UAW unallocated for all of these workers that meant their plant closed. During a leadership role, you should be able to sit down at the table and come up with an understanding to get our members back to work. Stay right there, Larry. More than 100 workers from Lordstown came here by bus along with others from Baltimore and Detroit, where a total of four GM plants are set to close. In Lordstown, the last Chevy Cruze rolled off the line in March. The plant still sits empty today. Last November, GM called it unallocating, ending production on slow selling sedans. It was a punch in the gut. I mean, it was it was it was, it was old school. They got in their cars and left. Ironically, inside the GM chair talked about trust that she says was built during the GM bankruptcy. Ten years ago, we came together and saved the company. Since then, I believe we have built a foundation of trust and respect and success that we should all be very proud of. The tone from the UAW president continues strong, saying GM made record setting profits the most of the big three. We will fight to keep these GM plants open and allocate more products here on American soil. It can be done. The handshake also moves both sides into new territory, being partners in the vehicles of the future, electric and self-driving. We are moving fast and the world is moving fast and our competitors are moving fast. And to build a stronger future, we, as leaders of General Motors and the UAW, must meet, move with speed and a tremendous sense of purpose. We will bargain to ensure UAW members are provided with the training, the tools, and the safe environment that will more than keep pace with the industry's advancements. From here, the UAW moved up to Auburn Hills. We'll have that part of the story next hour. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you.